Hey guys, what's up? It's Tiny Box here. Welcome back to another video. In the background, you see some Batman Arkham City gameplay. I'm actually uh, beat through the. I played through the game recently, like within the last few months, and I went back through and I just like had like some skins. I think I can't. I don't remember if I bought this in G2A or something because it has like all this custom DLC, which I'm, it's actually kind of cool. But today I have a commentary to for you guys about the new Resident Evil Seven announcement. Um, <laughs> where they are supposedly going to be having uh, play everywhere, and by that I mean Windows 10, Xbox Live, crossover. But that's where I'm concerned with, and this this, might, this is my commentary, and it's going to be something along the lines of, um, is the Windows 10 store going to be like the new uh, games for Windows Live? Because for those who don't know, games for Windows Live, oh boy, let's just uh, talk about that for a moment, shall we? For those who don't know that what that is, it's just a horrible monstrosity among almost all PC gamers, I believe. I feel like I have an honest right to say that because for those of you that don't own GTA 4 or any of those types of games, I think even Microsoft Flight Simulator is one of those. I, I used to own that, but like a beta version of it or something. It was like when it used to be free to play many, many years ago. But that was through when Games for Windows Live and... That was an absolute tr uh, atrocious nightmare to get through. Even with your correct account information, at least in my experience, it was virtually impossible for me to actually enjoy a game, let alone log into my account to be able to play in the first place, which pissed me off quite a bit back in the day. And it still does, even now. Um, for those of you who don't know, they've since shut down Games for Windows Live, which we can all shout a hallelujah for that, am I right? But even now, for GTA 4, I have to, you have to go and install like different mods and delete files and do this other BS to stop the game from actually glitching out on you when you open it because it's like, oh, games for Windows Live. Oh, this is uh, this is pretty great. No, no, it's it's not great at all actually. <laughs> I just I cannot stand games for Windows Live, and that's what scares me about this with the Resident Evil 7 demo, like I guess, or announcement. Not the demo. When the game comes out in a few weeks, I think the 26th is when it comes out. Um, which I am looking forward to Let's Play that in the channel. I'm hoping to getting around to doing that. Um, but if I don't... I, no, I'm not going to say what if I don't. I'm going to get down to it because... You know what? I, I, I want to do it. I want to have something... I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to stop talking about this. But like, yeah. So you know how they, uh, they made an announcement for that, which is fine. Um, but when they say Windows 10 compatible what does that mean when it's back and forth because there's obviously there's clearly a steam copy because i have the demo on steam they re they released it a few weeks ago on steam which i'm very surprised one that it got a steam release um so late into the game i'm honestly surprised it didn't come sooner because just imagine how much more hype it would have been if the uh steam version had been covered as like when the ps4 and xbox one versions were coming out it would have been gigantic and even though on PC, I guess it's probably more for VR support and stuff, um, getting that on PC too. Uh, they also have, I think they're, that's what they're really trying to get with this, is just the VR support with like <clears throat> PlayStation, uh, Oculus Rift, and all the, that, all that jazz. Um, <laughs> but like, I'm looking forward to that. I, I don't have any VR, well I do have a VR headset, it's a, called a ShineCon, it's more for like uh, phone stuff. Which is cool. I got that for Christmas. I'm very grateful for that. It's it's pretty awesome. I might make a video on that at some point. Uh, I just have to figure out how to properly get it to record. I'm not really great at figuring out, out all the technical stuff behind that. I mean, I have I had <clears throat> made a video, but it was very, very, very... Um, what's the word? It wasn't bad. It was... The f like the, the eyes, <clears throat> where you see the eyes, they were like very messed up. And it was just like, meh, I'm not going to upload that because it wasn't very high quality. It just didn't look too great. I think it was like a roller. No, nah, it wasn't a roller coaster. I can't. I think it might have been a horror game. Yeah, it was. It was a horror haunted house game or something. And even like in my eyes, it was very, very hard to see through it because just the way the game was designed. I don't know. I don't really get motion sick, but um, motion sickness. But that was very, very weird to look through. It's. It, I think it was just the low quality because you're like used to when you see a VR game, it usually has high quality, right? And it looks like you can actually be there. And this, it looks like fake. And it just looks like, oh god, why am I even doing this right now? But, back to the original commentary. I'm actually very nervous about what Windows 10, the store, is doing. Or Microsoft's doing with the Windows 10 store. Not that I have a, an issue or gripe with um, Windows or Microsoft using the store to sell things. I think it's pretty good that they're actually having, like, phone app stuff. Not, not, I don't want to say phone app. They have, like, more of, like, app stuff on that, which I probably will never buy anything from that, and that's fine, but there's also some pretty cool free stuff. I think they had, like, um, 
what's the uh, the racing game? I think Asphalt is what it's called. I've used that. I think I've used that on my secondary channel for gameplay at a few points. I'm not sure about this channel, but maybe at some point I'll use it for this channel for gameplay at for Asphalt. But when it says Windows 10 compatible, that makes me really nervous because I don't want to buy anything on the Windows 10 store. And I'll tell you this. I'll tell you why. Because Call of Duty, first of all, is having a lot of issues with the multiplayer. They actually came out with a mountain saying that if you had a Steam version of it, and you had a Windows 10 store version, I'm saying that in air quotes, uh, and then you had Xbox One, like you could do cross-platforming eventually, uh, but the Steam people and the Windows 10 people can't be together because they're on two different servers. And I'm just like, how how does that work? Uh, maybe it wasn't the cross-compatible, maybe it wasn't cross-compatible to begin with, but I do know for a fact that it was, that they announced that Windows 10 version, the store version, and the Steam version wouldn't be compatible to join lobbies, and that got me thinking, I was like, well, what if, like, ten people buy it on Windows 10? Uh, because that's probably about, <laughs> probably true to how much they're actually going to get. Because not, I don't know of a single person on, like, any of my, like, high school, my old high school friends, or, like, college friends, or, like, even, like, Facebook friends, yeah, Twitter friends, YouTube friends. I don't know of anybody that would buy something in the Windows 10 store, especially something like Call of Duty. I mean, I'm sure that they, some have bought, like, more of, like app games but not like something big like call of duty or resident evil 7 so that's really my biggest concern about this uh release titles if they are planning on doing this cross-platform stuff with the which don't get me wrong i'm not saying it's a bad thing at all i'm saying it's a great thing but what does that mean when it says windows 10 version does that mean a windows store version or does that mean the actual um steam copy because if it's steam then right on, man, right on. Uh, but I also have to kind of complain because, like, PS, I have a PS4, not an Xbox One. I've been really wanting to play on PS4 because of just, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing on PC, but I just, like, if they're doing, when it's, uh, it's very misleading the way they put it. It says all platforms or, like, play anywhere or something. It's like, no, it's not play anywhere. It's play on two different systems. Like, I can see it's kind of, it's cool that they're letting you do that, but it's just, like, at the same time, it's not play anywhere, so... It's a bit misleading, which is very shady. Not sh very shady. It's kind of shady, but I think it's kind of crappy that it says say play anywhere because if somebody goes out and buy after reading like an article on Facebook, like oh it says play anywhere, mom, I can buy it in PS4 and be able to link it to Steam. So Andy, my uh, I don't half twin brother sandwich maker. I don't know where I was going with this analogy, but analogy. Um, like if somebody else wants to play the game, it's like, oh no, you can't, you can't play it on those two different consoles. It's just on PC and uh, Xbox, which is kind of weird. But I mean, it makes sense, obviously, in the ter in the sense of that um, Microsoft owns both of them, right? Obviously, not Microsoft doesn't own Steam, so that's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm guessing it's since it's Microsoft's deal. Um, I'm assuming it's Microsoft's deal, at least if they're not giving the PS4. Um, that it's probably gonna be on the Windows 10 store, not with Steam, because Steam isn't Microsoft. Steam is Steam. <laughs> but yeah, it just like I, I couldn't see myself like purchasing a game and being like, you know, this is play anywhere, but I can play it on the Windows 10 store. It's just like I've never would ever do that because I already find I used to find Origin pretty annoying, and I still don't have a particular fondness for it. But I've can I've grown to tolerate it. Same thing with UPlay, uh, just because I have so many th games in there throughout the years. Um, but something like breaking into Windows 10, I would just advise against it. Um, even if you do get a second copy of it or whatever on the console, I mean, I would rather. I mean, I probably wouldn't rather pay sixty dollars. But at the same time, I don't really have a need to play it on PC and Xbox because I don't own an Xbox. That's just my personal situation, though. If you guys have something. Um, I'm sure that you guys have different scenarios that you guys are in and settings and stuff like that that makes it easier for you to purchase this, uh, the thing. I, I don't think it's going to be any differently priced. I would hope not, at least, the Play Anywhere deal. I would find that very shady and just, like, really crappy if it's, like, Play Anywhere, it's a good deal, and then you have to pay, like, $120, which is the cost of, like, two of the games anyways. <laughs> I could, I could honestly see it happening with today in gaming, to, to be 100% honest with you guys. But I'm going to leave off this commentary here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm tr looking to bring more commentaries to you guys and less focused on, like, actual, like, Let's Plays. I, I do love doing Let's Plays still, but I want to keep transitioning to doing more commentaries because those are the ones, in my opinion, that do a lot better on the channel. And I think it's the ones that you guys enjoy more, too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep calm and trust your instincts, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.
piece. And also, I'd like to remind uh, remind you, this is Batman Arkham City. Very fun game. I strongly recommend it. And also, who can resist that face? Pretty much anybody. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.